The front page of the Chronicle newspaper uh, says Parliamentary Committee on Local Government speaks. Natoshi never snubbed Dan Boche. Says two juggernauts must rather work together in the interest of Mother Ghana. Um, similar story is carried on the front page of the new publisher. Uh, says Dan Boche fingers Natoshi again. Uh, Jubilee House worried. Um, let me go straight into the Chronicle and uh, read some paragraphs of that particular story before we get into the conversation. Story is by Maxwell Ofori and it reads the Parliamentary Committee on Local Government and Rural Development has thrown its support behind the administrator of the District Assembly's Common Fund DACF, Irene Natoshi Ado. The committee has expressly stated that Contrary to some media reports, the facts do not support the claim that the administrator of the DACF has snubbed the Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, Dan Boche, in the disbursement of the DACF. Now, according to the committee, it came to that conclusion following its investigations into the alleged rift between the two, which included meeting both parties separately and was satisfied that the problem did not merit the attention being given but needed to be dealt with. On Tuesday, August 1, 2023, the Chronicle separately engaged the chairman of the committee, Emmanuel Akwesi Jemfi, and a member of the minority on the committee, Ahmed Ibrahim, on the matter. The two, though from different political lenses, addressed the issue on the same lines, arguing that the minister may be overstepping his boundaries by treating the DACF as being under his ministry. Um, it provides a, a lot of details in there. Um, but I'll just take this particular paragraph that says, a letter dated May 4, 2023 from the local government minister addressed to the administrator of the DACF sought to inquire what accounted for the discretionary allocation, in quote, of funds to, from the DACF. For instance, I have attached a copy of a letter addressed to the Western North Regional Minister allocating a total sum of 1 million Ghana CDs to the Member of Parliament for Bia East constituency. So it looks like as though a, a number of disbursements uh, made by the DACF uh, did not really sit well with the Minister for Local Government uh, and Rural Development, Dan Boche. But uh, we'll get into whether or not it is under his purview um, if, uh, with respect to disbursements made by the DACF. The publisher also cap captures the story and reports on the complaints or the letter written to the president uh, by the Minister for Local Government, uh, raising some concerns with respect to the activities or operations of the District Assembly, uh, Assembly's Common Fund. Madame Irina Toshi sits at the, as the administrator of the District Assembly's Common Fund. This is an autonomous independent body that is to report to Parliament directly. What I do not know and I'm seeking to find out is, is she under any law mandated to report her activities or operations to the Minister for Local Government and Rural Development? Um, the, I, I, must, I, must, I must admit that I, I, I wish that the two had been able to settle whatever differences mm. um, they had. Uh, without us having to come to this extent, having to discuss these issues uh, in, in the media space. The, the, the Office of the um, Administrator of Common Fund is a constitutional one, and it's, yeah. it's also supported by an, an Act of Parliament, 455. It, it gives the, 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 the office a um, certain amount of our tax revenues and has to ensure that those amounts actually go down into the metropolitan municipal and district assemblies to be able to to for them to have a direct impact in our developmental um, processes and also take care of certain things within mm -hmm. within within that space um, if you look at if you look at the structure of governance there it, it transcends also the the activities of the ministry for local government and, and rural development mm -hmm. Then you understand how come the two clash. But mm. um, the, the activities of the administrator of common fund, mm. I mean, she, yeah, the, the administrator has to go to parliament mm. every year to, for the approval of mm. a formula that she's going to apply to the resources that come into the fund. Mm. Um, in the parliament, we approve how much um, every uh, metropolitan municipal district is supposed to get. But um, also in there is a level of discretion because sometimes when mm. you run such funds, there might be exigencies of times. Let's say there's a, um, some sort of um, mm. 
emergency somewhere that needs to be addressed or some peculiar issues. Mm. And so that you should have some level of um, discretion as, as to a certain level of the fund, but the majority of the fund is actually controlled. In fact, the formula actually gives um, the, the, the administrator that sort of discretion. Mm. How and, and so it is essential that the two mm. work together, given that um, the space in which the administrator works and the space in which the minister works, you expect the two to, to, to be getting mm. on. However, to ensure that the administrator's work is not um, actually interfered by government, mm. right? It, the, the, the act gives the administrator uh, independence. Mm. I mean, the, 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 the administrator can be independent of the minister, mm. but by, by my understanding. That is where the Parliamentary um, Committee on Local Government and, and Rural Development mm. comes up. I mean, that committee has an oversight, and so they very much understand the, the operations of both the ministry and the administrator. That's why they have come out mm. with, with, with their press um, release, um, actually taking the side of the administrator. And I, I side with them to the extent that we all pray for the independence of such um, agency or creations mm. of, of law mm. and by the constitution. Mm. It's only when they are independent that mm. we, we can actually enjoy the benefits. Mm. Because look, the administrator anyway is answerable to parliament. Yes. Directly to parliament. Mm. And, and there's, there's a reason mm. why we thought that it should not be a direct agency of the local mm. government. That independence is very, very, very crucial. Mm. It's very important. That is why the administrator is getting all the support. Mm. In any case, in any case, governance itself, it's, it's collective. Yeah. We can't say one ministry should run independent mm. of other ministries. That is why we have cabinet that's, and they all run under the mm. presidency. And so the president is overall. I mean, he holds executive power. Mm. And he, he actually selects who the minister is and who the administrator is mm. per the guidelines given by the constitution. In any case, if the minister of local government has, a, has, has issues, and things that are, there are certain things that are some cooperation that he expects from the administrator. I think it is in his right to, to raise these issues, but the extent to which he raises it. I mean, those are, these are stalwarts in our mm. party. And Atoshi, a former member of parliament herself, a former leader in parliament, and mm. Ambuchi is a colossus in our party, yeah. former general, general secretary of the party, mm. a former leader in parliament. I mean, he's still a member of parliament, and I mean, he's a colossus in our party. I think that they should have found a way, and I, mm. I am privy to the fact that there, this matter uh, it's been tried. I mean, uh, people have tried. Uh, the administrator is taking steps to ensure that this thing, this thing is resolved mm. at a certain level. It's in the right of the minister to call attention of the president, to whether by written or oral. Uh, mm. But my, my, one of my biggest challenges, how come this is also in the media space? Mm. I didn't expect this to come into the media space. I'd expected that at a certain level, mm. this thing is resolved, rather yeah. than us having to come um, and, and discuss this, yeah. this, this in the open. Mm. I am hoping that in the next um, um, days, mm. we are able to find a resolution but perhaps as to it where, the two, where the two can, mm. work, can work together mm. in, 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 to, in a way that we know mm. to the benefit of them. Perhaps it gives us an opportunity for education because it, it looks like there's an, a, a misunderstanding, not necessarily an interference between the Local Government Act, that's the 936, and then, oh, of course, the Article 252 of the Constitution. Mm. Uh, because you see, the 252 uh, gives the president the power to appoint the administrator of uh, the fund mm. and then also empowers the administrator to submit proposals to parliament for approval. Mm. But then, same uh, affords the local government minister the power to draft guidelines for the utilization of the funds of the district assembly common fund mm -hmm. so you would understand why the minister would write to the administrator uh, demanding uh, a clarification for the approving authority uh, for the disbursement of these same funds i i, I perfectly i perfectly do understand but you mm. see that the extent of influence as well it's it's what it is but i i i, I in fact i want to i want to expect mm. that i um, this matter is resolved at, at a certain level because you can draw up guidelines and that's mm. that's the extent to which it, but the actual practical things that needs to be done has to be done by the formula approved by parliament and so once parliament approved the uh, that i don't i i yes the executive the minister being a member of the executive will have an essay but once parliament approves mm. the, the the formula for a particular year how the dcaf 
has to be applied. I think that it's, it's a final authority um, given to the administrator to, to, to run that fund for, for, that, for that year. And so it is, it is a case that I, I expect that um, um, the minister and administrator uh, will find some level of um, um, converge, convergence um, to, to, to resolve this difference. Um, well, it's important that they address this going forward, I mean, internally. <laughs> because uh, usually you see this on two opposing sides. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it doesn't look good when it's coming this way. And like you rightly pointed out, a major source of worry is where um, letters written by no mean person, a, a minister of state, to the president uh, finds its way in the media space. Uh, it, it gives a, a sense of worry or for concern. But it's important that is this issue is, is dealt with and dealt with internally so that we, we don't muddy the waters anymore.